Hi Sagittarius. Thanks for your patience on getting the 2019 readings out. Um, I'm a little bit hoarse. Um, I am doing the hot lemon water with the honey and the tea. Like I have my, tea, my chai tea here. Um, so I am taking care of it, but just bear with me while I get my voice back. And, um, thanks for your patience with this. So the way that I do these readings is I have all of the major arcanas from one deck and I will choose one overlying theme for each month. So we're going to do January through June. If you'd like to get the extended, which I did not do last year. So this is a thing, new thing that I'm doing. Um, the extended can be purchased on Vimeo or on my website, or you can go become a patron on Patreon. If you do the Patreon, you actually get the extendeds every single month. So even the soulmate extendeds that I do, and these are kind of like a bonus extended, extended the reading that you'll get for the year. So let's just start shuffling and get into it. And see how Sagittarius is here. So we are going to do January and February energies. So we can see how the January energy was and the Febu February energy was for Sagittarius. January really already wants to come out. So for January is the High Priestess. February is the Hermit. March is the higher font. I'm actually feeling these energies already because you guys know if you've been watching me that I'm a Sagittarius moon. So I'm really feeling these energies already. And then we have um, April is the moon. May is judgment. And June is the hanged man. So after I clarify all of these with tarot, with um, another tarot deck, I will pull the next six months so you can see what July through December is for the extended. Um, it really looks like January was a super quiet month for you. I feel like you, you and maybe not even quiet, but, but you are very high on your intuition. You might have been keeping to yourself a lot. Um, February, you might have been keeping to yourself a lot as well. It feels like March is going to kind of be a breakthrough month for you. It's almost as if, man, I'm already like feeling this the weight of the world on my shoulders for the first half of the year. Um, March, it feels like a leveling up. I feel like you're learning new things. I feel like there's there's kind of the spiritual aspect with the, with the Hierophant and the spiritual aspect in where the status quo, you know, like, are you going to go backwards? Are you going to go forwards? Are you going to deal with what um, everybody's always wanted out of you? Are you going to go in your own direction? That kind of thing. Um, so, and then it feels very secretive, very like you're not opening up to a lot of people in the first half of the year. I feel like you're really kind of keeping to yourself and allowing things to unfold. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. So let's go through each month. The High Priestess for January. So a quiet Sag. And of course you kind of had to because I think that um, there was a lot that you, like January felt like an entire year in itself, right? And I feel like there was a lot that you were processing. I think that there were a lot, I mean, you could have been going through a lot of pain. I feel like um, 2018 Sagittarius kind of had to let go of many, many things that they um, really wanted to hold on to and really wanted to bring into fruition for themselves. They really had to let go of it. And um, you could be dealing with a Taurus energy with the Hierophant or just like, I feel like there's a purging of what your life really is supposed to look like or what your life was supposed to look like with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles for me um, kind of is taking on a new meaning because yes, having all of the things is really, really great. Having that stable home and the really great job and the relationship, the marriage, the kids, the family, like all of it. That's what the Ten of Pentacles represents, right? Having it all. But 
in in having it all are you happy you have to be in you have to have it all internally first before you can have it all externally that's what true alignment is and with the ten of pentacles you want to be in that true alignment because if you have all of the things but you're not happy like if it looks really pretty on the outside but everything's a big old mess on the inside then where is that right it's the status quo it's like keeping up with the joneses and I think that you, there was a change that you had in January where you really had to think about what that status quo meant. And um, that it was a heavy heart kind of month. And the Page of Swords is the last card. I didn't pick that up, but the Page of Swords is the last card. So I think getting super honest with yourself, um, there was something that you wanted to work on that I feel like didn't quite pan out. Like you worked really, really hard to get to where you wanted to go and it just didn't work out like and it was in a very painful way and so i think that you needed to reassess the three of pentacles on the hierophant you needed to reassess what it is that you were doing in your life and like what you know what your journey really means and jupiter is going to be doing that for you so it can give you all the, all of the blessings because jupiter wants to give you this year jupiter wants to give you that ten of pentacles but if you're not receiving the blessings, if you're, if it's just kind of, you know, if you are um, wanting, if you're constantly finding yourself wanting, 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 waiting, wanting, 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 right? Page of Cups on the Ten of Pentacles. When you're constantly feeling like you're begging for something, I mean, you got to do the work to get to the Ten of Pentacles. And sometimes that work is internal. Sometimes it's not It's not always an external work. Sometimes it's internal. So the Page of Swords, I feel like you need to, you needed to get really honest with yourself. And um, it's taking some time. Like, allow it to take some time. Allow it to take its much needed steps forward. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Um that has like spoken the truth to you and it kind of but they're doing it in a very slow way or you need to hear the truth from an earth sign and they're moving very very slowly um let's see it could be a virgo that you're dealing with the knight of pentacles is the virgo energy but with the hermit in february this could one you could be dealing with a virgo or um just going inward, you know, it feels very reflective. This year feels very reflective because of a transformational process that you're going through. And here's the Scorpio energy. So um, the death card and the king of cups. So very strong Scorpio energy. Um, if there is a water sign that is helping you transform i almost feel like it's more of a helping energy than a hurting energy it could be that a relationship had to end with a water sign um but i think that this transformation that you're going through is so incredibly emotional and having to go inward except it's bringing you to an extremely happy place in your life so the ten of cups and the lovers um so you could this is gemini energy too so even though it might be brutal, even though there are things that you're recognizing that have you have to let go of, you have to let fall by the wayside. Um, there is a transformation that's happening within Sagittarius and allowing themselves to just be happy with what they have and not always feel like it needs to be more or they need to do more or they need to be extra in order to be considered more right so you have the six of cups with the death card and that's what i mean this past transformation the things that are happening with you in the from the past or resurfacing from resurfacing from the past are extremely transformational for you and if you are super emotional about what your finances look like um and you're really you got to make space for the universe to work in your life when it comes to finances. If you are constantly feeling like there's this lack mentality and you're holding on to everything for dear life, like, oh my God, I'm going to lose everything if I don't um, allow myself 
or, you know, I'm going to lose everything if I don't hold on to every single coin that I have right now. You know what I mean? Like there's this need to constantly be like holding on to your coins. Um, the universe can't work in your life. You or the universe can't come in and be like, here, let me give you an ace of pentacles. There's no way that you could accept an ace of pentacles in this position. So I think that like the emotional, the, the binding emotional status that you have with your funds right now might actually be in detriment to you is what I'm trying to say. Um, try to let go of it a little bit. I know that's very difficult to say sometimes if you don't have a lot of money, but the king of swords with the 10 of cups, there's this logical side of you that is, tr because you're emotional on one side, this is why you need to go internal, right? This is why you need to go inward. The logical side of you is saying, do I, you know, how am I going to get to this 10 of cups? What do I do to get to this 10 of cups? Da, 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 right? Dot, 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 dot. And then the emotional side of you isn't even allowing the space to expand to get to the 10 of cups. And then we have the lover's card here. Let's find out what the lover's is. You could be dealing with a Gemini that's making you very, very happy. You could be dealing with a Virgo or even a Scorpio that's making you very, very happy. Um, and then there's judgment. Ooh, I feel like this is a relationship. I feel like there's a relationship here. Um, it's almost just saying like it's time. And I think that this is that thing that is that is ultimately going to bring you to happiness, but you've got to allow it. You will, you have to allow it to come in. And this is February, and I and the February reading was all about a relationship that you had or a past relationship that you had that um, really transformed you. It's really changing you into somebody different, into something different. And so with judgment, it's very karmic. This relationship is, is like, meant. it's like destined, it's faded. It's something that's supposed to happen. So, um, but I think that you, the, it's almost like it's being overshadowed by the internal work that you need to get done, if that makes sense. So then we have the Hierophant for March. Let's see what March has in store for you. So if there is a Taurus in your life, I feel like you're waiting on them. Or if there's not a Taurus, there is this sense of um, union. Um, there's this sense of waiting for union to happen or coming together or celebration. Three of Wands and the Hierophant and the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is celebration coming together, being with the, like being with your like-minded tribe, being with your people. Let's see what the Three of Wands is. There's this sense of leveling up a relationship of some sort or coming or... Ooh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, the patience. I feel like there's a lot of patience that's needed. There's some kind of anxiety that's happening with you when it comes to what you're waiting for. I feel like there's definitely a need for patience in, in March. We said February. It's definitely a need for patience in March because I feel like you've been waiting for something or waiting on doing something. Um, this could also be traveling and you're just like anxious about the traveling. Um, balance yourself out. Use your heart and your mind here. I feel like alignment is very, very key when it comes to this because... You don't want to um, overdo your energy when you are working towards something, right? Um, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, okay. Um, because I feel like everything's turning out okay. I almost feel like this anxiety is not necessary. 
Like there's no need for it. Um, take them much. I feel like I want to say don't rush into anything. Take the much needed steps forward. Um, if you're learning a new craft, if you're starting a new job, um, this Eight of Pentacles on the Hierophant makes me feel like you are leveling up spiritually in some way, in a relationship, in a job, something like that. You've worked very, very hard to get to this position in your life. And I think the anxiety of it not happening fast enough is getting to you. And it's really, really time for you to kind of take a step back, allow yourself to create space to breathe. Because the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands feels extremely boxed in. I feel like you can't breathe. I feel like there's like this chokehold that's happening almost. Because you want things to happen a certain way and you've been waiting for it to happen. And the more you box yourself in or get really super defensive about the patience that you need to have, the harder it's going to be to get there. Because I want to say the universe is working for you. There we have the Ten of Pentacles again with the Three of Cups. You're actually much more stable than you think you are. And there is celebration and union and things coming together. Remember to keep your personal boundaries up. Remember to keep your personal boundaries up. Because I think that within this patience, there you could like almost um, trip a fuse. You could get very, very snappy with people if you don't keep your boundaries up, if you don't allow your boundaries. And because, and remember that we're coming into retrograde season in March. So um, it'll be very easy to snap off at people. Very, very easy. April, we have the moon. So even within the unknown, I kind of want you to allow yourself to, um, you, you got to get honest. You got to get honest with yourself. You got to look at yourself in the mirror because even in the unknown, um, things are still working. Even though you don't know exactly what's going on in your life right now, things are still working um, behind the scenes. So we have the Empress. We have the Ten of Wands because I think Sagittarius is very confused right now. I think you guys are confused a lot in the beginning of the year. And then we have the strength card. You feel like, it, it almost feels like all of these new beginnings or all of this these new starts could be dealing with an empress type energy around you, or this could be you. But it's like you keep on pushing forward, you keep on pushing forward, you keep on pushing forward. But every time you feel like you're taking two steps forward, it's like three steps back. And I'm not like trying to do the woe is me thing, yada, yada, yada. But you're, you're not seeing things clearly because you're not allowing yourself to recognize that this is the process. This is the way that it has to go. It may be extremely painful for you to do it. It may be really overbearing, but it's giving you this internal strength that you've never known before. And there's always a reason for that. There's not, there's, you know, the universe is not in the business of just treating you like crap, right? And then we have the King of Pentacles with the Death card. So, um, very reminiscent of the Scorpio reading. That King of Pentacles was around quite a bit. So if you are dealing with a Virgo energy or a King of Pentacles or an Earth sign energy at all, there is this transformation that's happening. It's like they're embedded within the transformation with you. Um, let's see what the Empress is. I feel like this is creative new projects. This is kind of just like standing in your own power, sitting in your own power, even though you don't, like even through all the unknown, even though you don't know the future, you really need to pull on that inner strength that you have because things are going to become much clearer as you move along, right? You are going to get things balanced out, answers where are coming to you. You're almost to the end of the journey, like, right? yes. Thank you very much. I was like, could we just give them a little bit of hope? Because I feel like this is just dragging on. Um, so we have justice on the Empress. There is a balancing out that is happening here. 
And you have to understand that the more you stand in the power, the easier of an alignment and, and the easier of balance that's going to happen, right? And then we have the Nine of Cups and the world on the Ten of Wands. This is where I was like, thank you very much. Because as these two cards fell out, I was saying, um, you're almost to the end of this battle. That you're almost to the end of this over, this overburdening journey that you've been on. And then we get the world, which is completion, and you get all of your wishes and hopes and dreams and desires there. So I don't want you to like just give up because life is hard. I mean, I've had a pretty difficult life too, right? I mean, we've talked about this before. It's not always going to be easy. But when you get there, once you get there, once you get to that, the top of that mountain, it's so much victory is like waiting for you. The top of that mountain. So much victory is waiting for you. So let's see what the strength card is. Yeah, um, your stability is really coming from within. This strength card and your stability is really coming from within. It's not an outside source. This is all about inner strength. You could be, um, uh, like if you are in a fam like a family member who's a Leo or something like that, it feels very much like home. Like this Leo energy is very much like home. And let's see, the King of Pentacles. Whoop. King of Pentacles and the Death card we're going to do together. Yeah, and this is where that transformation is happening and where those healthy boundaries have to be. Because you need to really allow your You're doing this transformation really, really well. But you need to make sure that you keep up healthy boundaries so you stay in alignment. Um, and healthy boundaries doesn't mean keeping somebody out. It means um, you respect yourself enough to know that you need boundaries when it comes to certain people or situations in your life. And it's not that that person is toxic to you. We have to have healthy boundaries with everybody, with everything and everybody. It's not just bad people. It's also with people that care about us. And I feel like as you're going through this transformation, you need to allow yourself to have these healthy boundaries with everybody in your life, even those people who are extremely stable in your life, because you're coming into alignment and you're really, really growing into this empress quality. And you need to, the only way to do that is to make sure that you are protecting your energy. All right. So May, we have judgment. There you are. Um, I feel very much like May is when it's like these big things start happening to you and your confidence because you recognize now, right? So we have the Queen of Wands. There's the Ace of Pentacles. There's the Six of Swords. So I feel like you're moving in a much easier and much better direction and Things are just kind of falling into place. That Ace of Pentacles feels very much like things are falling into place. You may be wanting to travel, Three of Wands, or um, really looking forward into your future. And I think because things are starting to make more sense to you and fall into place, you're really starting to look into your future in May. Let's see what the Queen of Wands is. So even though you're really, really confident, I also want you to be super discerning with the King of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign also. It's a little bit cold. Um, let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there is some serious established security that's happening for you in May. If you've been worried about money this year, if you've been worried about like how things are going to turn out financially for you this year, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in May pretty much justifies and is telling you with judgment, the universe is like, see, here's your gift. You've worked really, really hard. Congratulations. 
but you got to keep on trudging up that hill, Sagittarius. I know it's a pain in the ass, but windfalls don't just happen, right? We got to work for, I mean, not to regular normal people. Everybody has to work for what they do. Everybody has to work for what they have. So, um, two of wands on the six of swords. I really think that you're looking to move. I think you're you're traveling in May. Um, you're either moving or you're you're going on vacation, because I think that you're manifesting a new place to be, a new location to be. And I think um, judgment is saying it's time. Like you have to, like it's time for you to do it. You can no longer stay still where you are, and now you have the funds to do it. Now you feel the security to be able to do it. I like that. I like it a lot. Really good stuff there. And in June, we have the Hanged Man. <clears throat> so in June, the Hanged Man. You might feel a little bit stuck, but I almost feel like you're doing this on purpose to see things in a different way. There's almost this enlightenment that you need to do with June. So we have the lovers and the hierophant. So there's the relationship stuff again, or you're dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus. Um, there's a level that you are, oof. Somebody is stubborn and kind of stuck. Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I think you're having to look at this relationship in a different perspective. Um, don't get, I feel like there's a safety and security with it that's almost too safe and too secure. That's what the Four of Pentacles is making me feel like. I feel like it's it almost might it almost feels suffocating in a way, if you will. Like <coughs> like it's not a bad thing, but with the Hanged Man and the Four of Pentacles, it doesn't feel like a bad relationship, especially with these two here. These are actually two really good cards next to each other. Um, but I almost feel like you need some freedom from it. You need to allow yourself some space. I feel like there's this need for, yeah, there's definitely a need for space. You need to be able to run free. You're a Sagittarius after all. And it's not that you don't want to be in the relationship or have the relationship. I think that it, it just feels a little bit claustrophobic, if you will. So we have the Knight of Wands on the lovers. And, um, I mean, I get it because I have so much Sagittarius energy in my chart. Like I carry that. Sagittarius energy with a lot of pride and it just me I need a lot of freedom in my life too I am very much a person that if I'm feeling claustrophobic in a relationship I will run very very far very fast it just that's how I am and I'm very I'm honest about it too like I just said I'm very honest about it again if you don't just because you don't know what the future is bringing don't get anxious. I have temperance and the nine of swords and the moon all came out on the hierophant. If you don't know where this relationship is going, if you don't know where this kind of leveling up is, this could be a Gemini that's very wishy-washy in your life or even a Taurus that's really wishy-washy in your life. Um, but I feel like it's giving you anxiety. Like the unknown is giving you anxiety. You're thinking too much. You're overthinking the process. Like stop thinking so much, Sagittarius, because... I feel like it's actually much better, it's much more safe and secure than you think it is. It's almost too safe and secure. And I think that's why you get really anxious because you're like, again, that too good to be true. So too good to be true kind of feeling. Um, yeah, you really could be dealing with an air sign. Let's see what this Queen of Cups is. Or a Scorpio. And if you feel really bogged down by your environment or the place that you're in right now, I think that's a level of freedom you also need to have. 
So in June, if you didn't take the chance and made a move or to go on vacation or something like that, I feel like you need to break free. I feel like you need to go in a different direction and kind of break free from some things. So allow yourself to do that. Don't beat yourself up for needing to have some space. The people who love you will understand. I promise. The people who love you will understand. So, and then we have, because I think with the death card and this Queen of Cups, if you're not dealing with the Scorpio energy, um, I feel like it's quite emotional for you. This whole transformation, everything that Jupiter is bringing to you is very transformative, but it's also a, a really big gift. And I want you to kind of allow that into your life because it's very difficult to accept big gifts sometimes if, um, if we're unsure of what it is that we're accepting. It's very scary. It can be very, very scary. The unknown can be very scary. So that is your first half of the year. Let's take a look at the cards for the second half. And then again, if you would like to have get the extended the July through December, you can check the description box below. Go to Vimeo or you can go to my website, um, fearlessintuition.net, order it there. Or you can become a patron on Patreon where every single month you'll get extended versions of everything. So July, we have the Wheel of Fortune. See what I mean? Jupiter is already showing up. After all of that, Jupiter is already showing up. Wheel of Fortune and then Justice, Karmic Retribution, and then the Death Card for September. October is the Star. November is the Chariot. And December is the Lovers. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, Sagittarius. I will see you guys in the extended and for your monthly readings. I love you. Bye.